Well, this Sunday on main events in Australia, you'll be able to watch uh, an eagerly awaited trilogy between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. And I'm pleased to say that Canelo Alvarez joins me now in fight week. Uh, great to be talking to you, Canelo. Um, why is this fight so personal for you this time around? Oh, because he, all these years, he talked a lot of things about me, bad things about me. That's why it's so personal for me. And how do you look back on those first two fights? Two two brilliant fights, oh, two but great fights. controversial. Two, yeah, two great fights. When when that kind of fights happen, like so close, everybody had opinions, right? Uh, one thinks I won, the other thing, the other people thinks he won. So it's when they it's a good fight. So I I think this this fight is gonna be better than than the two we had. It's been four years since the second of those fights. Um, we know how you've changed, obviously changing weights and uh, doing lots of things. But what do you think has happened to Golovkin in that time? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. I just take. I'm, I just care in myself and be. I'm preparing myself for the best Golovkin, and, and I'm ready. Uh, you know, after the that second fight, we have the almost agreement to to fight again, but uh, the COVID come and everything happened you know and then I started fight in other uh, weight class and and start uh, win a champ, champ world champions in in other weight classes so I started doing other things so that's why I think wait a lot of time um do you think that um your body feels good back down at super middleweight is this where you should be I I feel my best in 168. Will we see you again at light heavyweight? Is that the plan to get your vengeance against Dimitri Bivol at some point? We'll see. We'll see what happened. Uh, I'm focused 100% on Golovkin, and we'll see what happened on his fight. He have a, a fight too in November, and we'll see. I hope so. Do you think that um, this 40-year-old version of Gennady Golovkin is uh, is in danger against you? Do you see a way of stopping I think, him? I think he's a danger fighter. Uh, Golovkin is still a danger fighter and more now because he's going to bring all for this fight. He's going to bring all for this fight because he thinks he's the last and the rivalry we had. So I think he's going to be a danger fighter. Uh, but um, I'm ready for the best, Golovkin. He seemed to be hurt to the body a few times in his most recent fight. Uh, is that your target? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on all the body, all the body, head, in the body, everything, everywhere. This is a different side of you. We don't often see you so angry towards an opponent. Yeah. Um, he, he's really good under your skin, isn't he? Yeah, he he's, and I have a really train good training camp for that uh, I I train like uh, like crazy for this fight so uh, that mm, motivate myself how long are you going to fight on for Canelo how many years do you have in the I game know. I don't know my body's going to tell me when is the is the time to 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 go out but not yet I feel in my prime right now how does your body feel? Because you put it through so much, going up in weight and yeah, taking I need these to, big guys. I need to slow down a little bit because look, four four fights in eleven months is a lot, especially for my for how I train, how hard I train. So I need to slow down and 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 twice uh, um, fight twice a year. Do you think with going up against Bivol and and the fights that you've had, you've figured out that maybe um, some of the yeah. stuff you've talked about, Anthony Joshua no, my... and Alexander Usyk, that, that these guys are too big? Do you, have you have you? Decided? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not that. I think my body was so tired, and 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 that's 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 a reason I think. And um, how's it going to feel? Do you think uh, if you get this victory? on Sunday Australian time, is it going to be something of great significance in your career? Yeah, of course. This is this fight is very important for my for my legacy. It's gonna be big, big win for, for us. And is that because people have doubts about the first couple of fights or is it just because you don't like this guy? 
I don't like this guy and I want to win. Well, ahead of this third fight between Canelo and Triple G, I am joined by Gennady Golovkin. Um, great to be talking to you. How do you feel this close to weighing in as a super middleweight this time around? Ну, это действительно новая весовая категория для меня, и я еще не боксировал в ней. Скажу одно, что чувствую себя по-другому. Да. Indeed, that's a new weight division for me, and uh, let me tell you one one thing: I feel different. Indeed. Do you feel like your power is going to go up in weight with you? Your punching power? Я думаю, такого прям не прям разницы не наблюдаю. Думаю, что просто разница будет в том, когда надо будет вставать на весы, что тебе придется меньше поесть и все. Ой, больше поесть, ну то есть разница в этом. Mm -hmm. I don't think there'll be a big difference in the punching power. Uh, the only difference, I guess, would be that I will have probably be able to allow myself to eat more uh, time come when the time comes to get on the scales. That must be a good feeling. Do you feel like you might stay up here at super middleweight now? We'll see. I don't know yet. Um, have you had a chance to go back and look at the first two fights uh, over the course of the last few weeks in preparation for this fight with Canelo? Ну, нет, нет, оно осталось уже далеко в позади, и уже много времени прошло, и какого времени прошло, так что смысла нет. То есть я думаю, что этот третий наш бой будет совсем другим. No, it's um, been put far behind me already, uh, because a lot of time has passed, and there were some difficult times during that period. Uh, so that's a, this is a completely new fight. It must have been difficult. Uh, how do you feel about those two fights? Well, briefly answering your question, those were interesting fights. Did you win those fights? That's a provocative question. <laughs> okay. It was, um, they were both very, very good fights. Um, what do you think of Canelo Alvarez uh, as a person? You've had stuff to say. He's had things to say. What do you think of Canelo? I don't think of him as a то есть как личность персонально он мне вообще не беспокоит, не тревожит. Я вот не понимаю вас, почему у вас только много внимания к этой персоне. I don't think about him as a person. I don't care. I'm not concerned. And I actually surprised why all of you are so interested in him as a person. What are you interested in, in him as then? This is a, obviously a, a fight that means an awful lot. Are you thinking about legacy or revenge? Uh, uh, neither of those. I uh, look at it as an important fight, uh, a championship fight, another fight with a champion, just the previous uh, championship fights I had during my career. And what would victory mean to you and what would it feel like to finally get that win officially against Canelo Alvarez this weekend? Ну, любая победа, любая победа – это большой, большое достижение. То есть нельзя принижать заслуги предыдущих моих боев, да. То есть любая победа – это очень важно для твоей, ну, для твоей карьеры, для твоего, для, ну, для, для тебя вообще. Все. Я надеюсь, здесь ни, никак, ну, не, не разделяется победа. То есть победа есть победа. Any victory is important, and uh, it's an achievement. Uh, and uh, for me, 
every victory that uh, uh, happened during my career is important. Uh, this is uh, going to be just another victory, important victory in a big fight. And just finally, Gennady, um, you're a big figure in Australia. You're very popular in Australia. Um, would you ever consider at some stage in the latter end of your career coming to Australia for what would be a big stadium fight? We've got Michael Zarafa is uh, highly rated uh, for one of the belts that you hold. Tim Zhu is a, a prominent figure who's expressed a, a, an interest in fighting you. Would you would you ever come here? В Австралии очень многие вас любят. Есть какой-то вариант, что может быть вы на какой-то момент приедете в Австралию? Там есть несколько боксеров. Там Тим Зу у нас на следующей Австралии. Майкл Сурап. Ну, вы сами, вы сами про это говорите, да, то есть вы сами про это говорите сейчас вслух, и это очень интересно, то есть это я говорю о том, то, что есть действительно планы после этого боя, то есть я надеюсь, эти планы еще все останутся. Okay, um, it's good that you're talking about this, and uh, like I said, I have some plans uh, after this fight, and I hope uh, those plans uh, will still be fulfillable after this fight. Okay, well, Gennady, um, I can tell that uh, you're very focused on this fight. I'm glad that we're doing this over Zoom. Uh, clearly, uh, you're on edge, and, and that's got to be a good thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you All so right. much.